let's get into it. Coach Colin here. I'm going to make this one quick. There's a clip circulating of uh, Jamie Raskin, uh, the guy who used to wear a do rag while he was in uh, <laughs> when he was in uh, hearings. It was very, very weird. I think there was some kind of hair transplant or something. I, I don't really know. But there's a clip circulating. This is it where he talks about disqualifying Trump, whether or not he wins the election. Here it is. Again, it's necessary, but it's not sufficient because what can be put into the Constitution can slip away from you very quickly. And the greatest example going on right now before our very eyes is Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which they're just disappearing with a magic wand as if it doesn't exist, even though it could not be clearer what it's stating. And so, you know, they want to kick it to Congress. So it's going to be up to us on January 6, 2025, to tell the rampaging Trump mobs that he's disqualified. And then we need bodyguards for everybody in civil war conditions, all because the nine justices, not all of them, but these justices who have um, not many cases to look at every no, year, no. not that much work no. to do, a huge <laughs> staff, great protection, simply do not want to do their job and interpret what the great 14th Amendment means. And I'm glad that Sherilyn's creating her new center so we can bring that up again. It's necessary. But so in this clip, he's basically talking about the 14th Amendment, Section 3. Now, what Section 3 is, do I have it here? I do. Uh, just at the end of the day, you know, just to sum it up, if you have been president or if you've been a congressman or if you've taken any type of held any type of government offices that had you taken oath to uphold the Constitution, then you cannot here. Let me just go to the bottom here uh, shall have engaged in inter in uh, insurrection. I was about to say a different word um, <laughs> or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies of. So you cannot cause an insurrection. That's basically what they're saying. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about this clip. This is a man child that we're dealing with here. You know, this was at the point where everybody was just actually it's not, you know, it's 2023. I shouldn't even say that. But this guy is clearly still having a tantrum. Oh, the Supreme Court should have done something. Oh, they should have done something. Well, how about this? You have to charge Donald Trump with causing or leading an insurrection. You cannot just say it as the mainstream media and the Democratic Party in lockstep, as always, pretty weird. As always, they just get into lockstep and they just say insurrection, insurrection, insurrection. And they're like, that's it. That's all it takes. We, we've we decided that that's what it was. And we've spread it throughout the media enough that we're shaping public opinion to, to the point where they think that's what it was. But here's the thing. You need to charge them with it. They haven't charged them with it because they can't. So they're not going to be able to disqualify Trump because he led an insurrection because there's no charge of Trump leading an insurrection. Most of the people who were charged in J6 weren't even charged for insurrection. They were charged for breaking windows, going in places, violence towards police officers, get re resisting arrest, things of that nature. So this is just a man child having a tantrum, wishing that the Supreme Court would just do what he says. Just do it. Come on. We don't want we don't want to have to face off with him in a regular, fair and free election. Can we just get him out of the way, please? That's what they're looking for. So there you have it. You know, this one's very, very quick because I, I don't even know what else to say. How, how are you going to sit here and say especially so brazenly in an interview that we're just gonna we're you know we're just gonna invoke section 3 14th amendment there you go he's just saying you know what and it's so weird that they've been taking the i hate to use the word weird they've made the word weird not cool anymore i gotta use a different word now but it's so odd that when it comes to kamala they kind of just installed her there's supposed to be a primary they're supposed to be this open process for the American people to look and be like, huh, the vice president. Oh, OK. You know, and I hate to say it, you know, oh, there's Gavin Newsom. There's Gretchen Whitmer. OK, OK, who else? All right, let's see what all of them have to say. 
about being in this position. Let me figure this out. You know, and, and again, it would be a tight process because we're so close to the election, but that's the way it has to be. The fact that they just circumvented that and they just said, don't worry about those people. We'll handle it from here. And then we have this guy in public being like, you know, yeah, we'll just disqualify him, you know? We'll just do it. It's thrown to Congress. And that's the thing about the 14th Amendment that I, I left out. It actually gets thrown to Congress. So they would actually be the ones deciding whether or not Trump gets disqualified. Now, are all of the Republicans going to disqualify their own guy if he just won? Not likely. Do they hold more seats than the uh, Democrats? I'm not sure about that, but they're going to have a hard time doing that with out again, an actual charge on Trump. You cannot do you cannot do charge by media. That's what a lot of people try to do. Cancel culture has made it where all of a sudden, whatever people say on Twitter and whatever people say in the media, that becomes your sentence. And now all of a sudden you're losing jobs and you're losing this and you're losing that and your agency drops you and you're getting demonetized and this and that. That's not how it works in this situation. They know this guy knows. And that's why it's so dishonest and gross of this guy. He understands completely that there needs to be a charge. That's why he wanted the Supreme Court to do it. He wanted someone else to do it, some other body to do this for him. So he didn't have to, because that's going to be the thing that comes up. Was he charged with this? Because it's no, just because Nancy Pelosi says it, because, you know, that's another reason why Trump is like, what about Nancy? Nancy was supposed to do this. Nancy was supposed to do that. Because if you really dig into this whole thing, Nancy's going to be a little cop, co uh, copable, copable. Is that the word? <laughs> responsible i'll use that word <laughs> nancy's gonna be a little responsible uh stephen a sund the the uh police chief at the time at the capitol he's gonna be a little responsible there's gonna be a bunch of people who are a little responsible for this and then when you actually take trump's speech you're gonna play the whole thing because you're not allowed to do the whole media thing where it's like we just want to show you this clip you can't do that in a courtroom especially with something this big you're gonna have to play his whole speech out and then people are going to see, oh, he really didn't call for anything. He actually called for something that is completely within the law, which is being peaceful, a peaceful protest. And honestly, just the fact that he used that word in saying you should go peacefully, end of story. You're allowed to go peacefully. Whatever happened from there is not really on him. And a lot of people think it is. So... Just interesting that this uh, Jamie Raskin fellow has the cojones to actually say this in front of a bunch of people, knowing that he's being recorded, knowing that it's going to hit the Internet. It's very interesting how brazen these people have gotten. Very, very interesting to see how out in the open or how uh, Tucker Carlson put it, how mask off they've been. It's just a lot of mask off moments. Kamala, they're just like. Whatever, she made some phone calls. Obama says it's cool. Nancy says it's cool. That's it. Let's go. It's like, wait, hold on. What? Biden says it's cool. We're good. What about the people? And then this guy, he's just like, you know, and the thing about the people is they can vote for whoever they want. We'll just disqualify them. It's like, are you guys communists? Hey, 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 hey. You got to take off your shirt because I want to see if you have a hammer and sickle tattoo on your back. You got a tramp stamp of Karl Marx on your back, bro? Let me see. I don't believe you until you show me. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure at least one of them do. You go to Congress, at least one of them has that tattoo. A hundred percent. We don't even need to argue about this. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring you that because I see this circulating quite a bit. A lot of people are getting a little anxious. They can't do that. And they know they can't do that. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. And other than that, 